morning. Thought we'd do a greenhouse walkthrough. I need to preface this video with the fact that I am not a carpenter. I can nail two boards together. Uh, most of the time I can use a level and sometimes I can even get a door to open and close correctly. But anyway, so like everything else I built, I sunk the 4x4s in the ground and cemented them uh, because we do get high winds here. Now this greenhouse is 16 foot uh, long because these panels come in two foot sections. So the math works out. Of course I had to use a calculator, but it works out. And then these panels are really good panels. I got the more expensive ones from uh, Home Depot. Um, they're made in Israel. I don't know why that matters, but I said it. Maybe they're kosher. And then uh, when you put these panels on, I learned that you have to drill a hole first in the panel and then put your screw in um, because these panels will shrink or contract and if you just screw it in there I guess it can crack so all these are screwed in and like I said we have high winds here so I put in a ton of screws uh, especially up on the roof there's a ton of screws up there all the way down all the way down to the bottom there are screws but it's 16 foot long and then it's um, two, four, six, eight foot wide. It's eight foot wide. So I have one panel here, one panel there, and then my, my door is four feet. And I made the door so you can just open the top if you want um, to just let air in and out. Okay, so again, I'm not a carpenter, but um, I just did what I thought was best. So I've got water in here, and I built a, uh, a lower shelf than the rest of the workbenches to hold these bins. And that's where I keep my soil. And then uh, this is my workbench right here. So I put my trays up here and load up the soil and then plant my seeds right here. And this, this bench is, it's a little higher than a normal table, so it's easier for me to work. I'm six foot tall, so I built this a little higher. Then I have a shelf for some pots. And I have a shelf up here for uh, miscellaneous stuff. And then um, I have one, one row here, shelves with screens on it. And one there. And then one over here, which runs the length. Then I put an extra one down here because in the summertime we have a lot of seeds going and we'll need the extra room. And then I have a two by four down here which I can add another shelf if I need it. I can even go this way with another one if uh, things get crazy. Down here is where I keep my seed trays. Again, I get these from Haas Tools. They're just really strong. Made in America. Use them for years and years and years and years. And then there's some plastic trays I use for my pots, like this. And these are more winter crops that we're growing. Um, even in the greenhouse, it gets cold at night, and the little basil plants died. I didn't expect them to live, but I was, you know, I experiment. You have to try. <clears throat> these are uh, some commercially grown green onions that we got from the store that we used, and I planted the little root end in here and they took off and then these are green bunching onions I'm gonna be building an onion box specifically for just onions so I'm gonna have some the green bunching onions and then I'm gonna have these over here these are Egyptian walking onions um, if you get a chance check these out on somebody's YouTube channel these are really cool once they get going there you, you'll have them forever <clears throat> these are some lettuces Add, extra lettuces I had left over. I just threw them in the pots to grow them. And then it's a whole tray of broccoli. So when the broccoli out there, uh, we harvest it, we'll have this going so you can have a continuous harvest. And this is red cabbage and uh, green cabbage, some cauliflower, some romaine lettuce, which is just starting to come up. <clears throat> and these are Texas white onions and some, some red Creole onions. 
We did a video on planting those. It's been about uh, eight days, eight, nine days, and this is how far they've come. Um, this is some kale, uh, some Brussels sprouts. Again, we have kale and Brussels sprouts growing out there, but this is going to be for a continuous harvest and some collard greens. <clears throat> and then this was some late um, squash that I planted just to see if I get it to grow in the greenhouse, but it's not doing so good. So I'll probably get rid of those. And then our baskets, we have a place for baskets, uh, tool belts hanging up. <clears throat> and then the, the ceiling, uh, like I said, I'm not a carpenter. But I watched uh, some videos on how people built their buildings. And, you know, I looked at all the different designs um, of greenhouses. And this one just seemed to work for me, this design. And it's screwed in. The roof is screwed in there, there, and down there. So there's three, three areas where the roof is screwed in each panel. And then... Not being a carpenter, I wasn't sure what to do about opening and closing the window, so I just built this giant handle. There. That works. Okay. And then when the weather gets bad, I can lock it right there. So we used to use, I used to use, these um, little plastic name takes, tapes, but or tags, but the um the ink fades real fast and if you have them out in the garden within a month the sun destroys them and they start breaking so i got these um eight inch tongue depressors and i like them a heck of a lot better you can see the writing i'm on on them better and you can uh write a lot more on them and they should last more or better in the garden Okay, that's the uh, that's the greenhouse. I'll take care.